We got a good soaking rain last night with many picking up between an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain. There are some river flood warnings we'll talk about in just a second, but taking a look outside right now all is dry. It's still a little breezy and we have quite a bit of overcast. That overcast will start breaking up eventually later on tonight. But at the moment, we're at 48 degrees. We have a wind coming down out of the north, occasionally gusting up over 20 miles an hour. Definitely some high rivers, creeks, and streams across the area, and only some minor street flooding has been reported from early this morning. But all of that continues to recede. Now, all of the runoff from all of this heavy rain to our north as well will continue to fill up across the Connecticut River. And we do have these river flood warnings at Montague, Northampton, Thompsonville, and down to Hartford for the Connecticut River. These are in effect tonight all the way through Saturday in some locations. So Here's a look at the most recent river level update. Everybody is at flood stage right now. Uh, Montague is expected to crest at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've got a crest for Northampton uh, at minor, almost moderate flood stage happening at 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Uh, 7 p.m. tomorrow evening, the river will crest at Thompsonville, and then Saturday morning, it will crest at Hartford, which doesn't impact our area, but it's just, you know, in case you are going to that area uh, or have interest in that area. But minor flooding is expected at all of these locations. So, you know, Northampton at the Oxbow could definitely have some waterlogged uh, areas. So just watch out for that over the next 24 to 48 hours. But our storm system continues to depart. Cloud cover is clearing back to our north and west. We will see that eventually, I would say after midnight tonight. As we take a look at your 24, once we start getting some clearing, wind also getting lighter overnight, we continue to dry out. Temperatures will be dropping back down to near or even below freezing by sunrise tomorrow morning. Not much icing is expected due to things drying out pretty fast during the overnight. Plus, it'll take a while for us to drop below freezing, and some may not even get there. We'll have full sunshine to start off the day tomorrow, and it looks like we keep it all day long. So that is our pick of the week. Sunny skies, lighter breezes out of the north, temperatures getting mild too, climbing back into the low to mid 50s for the afternoon. So for March, that is a very nice day. Temperatures about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. So high pressure is going to be building in tonight. It's going to take over for Friday, and it's gone as soon as it comes in. Friday evening, it's already on its way out. Temperatures may drop quickly early tomorrow night, but high clouds will start increasing as our next system gets ready to move in. Breezes will shift to the southeast on Saturday and start to increase. It'll be a little breezy on Saturday and a little blustery on Sunday, especially once the system departs in the afternoon. Now, we are expecting wet weather to arrive, I would say, Saturday night. So Saturday is going to be cloudy but dry. Looks like the wet weather gets here around 8, 9 o'clock, starts off as rain for the valley, but possibly snow for the Berkshires. There might be some minor accumulation before the Berkshires change over to rain, too, which should happen by Sunday morning. So a plowable event is a possibility in northern Berkshire County, but elsewhere, not even going to see any snow mixing in. It's really northern New England that gets some good snow. So that's good news for the ski resorts, which have barely any snowpack at all. So they'll pick up at least a little bit with this system. We turn blustery and a little bit colder behind the low for Sunday night and Monday. We could actually see some snow showers continue. So there might be some additional snow accumulation for the western slopes of the Berkshires. But you can see areas picking up three or more inches. I mean, it barely cuts into Berkshire County. So it's mostly for northern New England. It's not even that big of a snowstorm for them either. Plus, the cool down is short lived. We only dropped to normal temperatures on Monday. Then Tuesday and Wednesday, the sun is back and temperatures shoot back up again. Ridge of high pressure looks to bring highs into the 50s to near 60 through the end of next week. And right now, it looks a little volatile for St. Patrick's Day weekend. Showers are possible. Doesn't look like a big storm right now. And then Sunday would be breezy and cooler, but we're still 10 days out. So there's time for that to change. Chris and Abby, 